Rick Scott visited the Keys today to update people on the recovery. Local 10's Terrell Fournay live in Marathon, where people are just anxious for good news. Terrell. Well, this was the governor's third visit to the Keys in a week's time. And like many areas across Florida, the Keys is experiencing this, the lack of debris that is being removed. He made it very clear that he is very upset at the debris removal companies that are participating in price gouging. One of the hardest hit areas of the Keys received a visit from Governor Rick Scott today, who saw firsthand the many twisted, mangled RV trailers and mobile homes at this park that were tossed around like toys during the storm. It looks like a war zone. Joanne Beck is a part-time resident of the park. Most of her neighbors have not been back since the storm because their property fared much worse. You know, to look around at the devastation in this area to people who's lost their permanent homes, lost everything. Um, we're sad for us, but really, really sad for them. I'm going to keep showing up uh, and do everything I can to help them get back to a normal life. Prior to touring the storm damage, the governor participated in a roundtable with FEMA and other Monroe County leaders to help move the recovery phase to the next level. One big issue remains housing. Between 10 and 15,000 homes were destroyed or damaged by Irma. So emergency housing is on the way in the form of 1,700 travel trailers that have been ordered along with 7,500 mobile homes from the federal government. But current inventory is low. So the transition for those who qualify won't be immediate. So it takes time to make sure that we've got it somewhere safe to put those, that the infrastructure is a place to support it, to bring it down and put it into place. Hopefully they will rebuild and we'll be back real soon. So in the days and weeks and months moving forward, housing certainly a big issue here in the Keys, but again, the debris removal, another issue, because as we all know that this could be a health hazard. Uh, the governor says that he is consulting with the state's attorney general to see how to go after these companies that have these existing contracts with these municipalities, but are defying that to go to communities that are paying more to remove this uh, debris from the communities. We'll have more on that coming up at 6. For now, that's the latest live here in Marathon. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News. Okay, Terrell, and we know your focus has really been on uh, the recovery efforts and the debris that's all around you there. But any word about possibly having guidance counselors on hand at the school when they return to class on Monday for the students? And it's a good point that you bring up. And actually, the round table that we were in earlier today, someone brought that up as an issue because there are so many families that are dealing with the gravity of losing everything that they own. And we know that these students, they're returning to school and having to deal with class and problems at home. Mental health is something that people here in the Keys are trying to assess as well as a primary need. That being the case for these homeowners and also for the students that are returning to school. That was great to hear. Didn't want to put you on the spot, but we knew you can handle it. Thanks a lot, Terrell. Live for us.